I don't know why people were complaining about Hu Tao being so noisy. I just don't hear it. Oh, 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 wait, my character voice settings are off. Let me just turn this on and... Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, my eardrums, they're bleeding. But hey, her damage is good, so uh... Does anyone have a spare pair of eardrums? What's up bullies, it's Vane here and I've been waiting about 10 years to finally make this video. Recently I was able to pull Hu Tao and we're going to be spending over 5,000 resin to level her up, test her out and by the end of the video you might want her as a wife, but she's going to be coming for your life. It is a funeral sale season after all. But before we begin, have you ever been yeeted off the side of the highest building in the year? Uh huh? Or perhaps your friend sets fire to the ground and watches you burn slowly whilst you're AFK. Ouch, that must have hurt. And whilst on the topic of injury, today's video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan, our channel's very first sponsor. Over 800 lawyers in 49 states. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. You can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents and medical records all from your cell phone. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave your couch. And you can even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. So if you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. And for more information, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Thank you again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video and directly supporting the content on this channel. You guys know the drill by now, we're giving away another welcome. To enter, watch till the end, like sub and hit the bell, and I'll be picking a random comment from this video in a week's time and announcing the winner here in the comments. Now back to the video. Grandpa? Wait, he's not even a grandpa, he's, he's an uncle. How are you? <laughs> Welcome back, bullies. Today we're going to be leveling up Hu Tao. You already saw the intro, so let's get straight into it. I just pulled her on stream and she ate up every single Primo gem. Well, that's a lie. But every single pull that I have. And I don't think I'll be able to go for any constellations or weapons. I already have them, but a couple extra copies wouldn't hurt. So unfortunately, we won't be able to get those. Instead, we'll be able to level her up today. So... I'll show you guys what I have on my hotel now. It's absolutely nothing. She's killed like two slimes. Uh, hotel, please. Okay, well. Uh, she's got absolutely nothing on her. Uh, ignore the Favonius Lance. I was trying something. It didn't really work. Pretty much she's got her base stats right now. Uh, in terms of weapon, let's get this off of her. Back to what she started with. She's got zero artifacts, no constellations, talents 111. I'll show you guys what I farmed for her though. In terms of the weapon, we've already maxed out stuff of Homer. Don't ask why Candace is holding this. I'm not really sure myself, but we do have it. In terms of the artifacts, this is one where we might need to farm a little bit more. So I did farm the absolute crap out of this, but the good thing is that we can actually re-roll some of our extra artifacts because I did farm a lot of five stars and they're just kind of taking up space. So it's a good way to get rid of some of those. EXP books, I think we should have enough. Oh, really? She's a character that actually does benefit from getting 90 out of 90 because she scales on HP. So we might take her up. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'll try her at 81 and if she does, you know, pretty good damage, maybe we'll take her up a little bit more, get the extra value out of it. Uh, the lucky thing for me is that because she is a... Uh, character that came out a while ago. We don't need to worry about farming any of this garbage. So that's already taken care of. Boss materials, I've been hoarding a ton. And then we've already got her character level up material here as well. And that's already pre-farmed. Might need a couple more of these or we can fuse them up. Talent materials, I forget which one she has uh, or needs, but I have a crap ton for Li Yue. So I think we should be fine. I feel like it's diligence. Local specialty, I think it's the silk flowers, if I'm not mistaken. We have 1,200. It's been cooking in the teapot. Let them cook, let them cook, you know. Uh, and that's all ready for her. So, before we do start leveling her up, I do want to check out some of her animations and voice lines. Let's see, what does she say when it rains? Okay. 
Oh no, she's a dad. I felt like I had more wings. I mean, the clear go-to is probably that. This one always works as well. The default aren't even that bad, but I think I'll, I'll go with these. And then let's start leveling her up. Okay, we need 118 XP. But you know what? I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a... This is a Ganyu kind of day. We, we get a... We put Hu Tao in. We put Yelan, Ganyu, and Venti. Who's our target this time? Whoop, 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 scoopity whoop. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's been on my mind recently. I, I need some help. Maybe from over here. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna quit my day job, guys. We're, we're sticking to to making Genshin videos and whatever else I do. <laughs> we're not switching to FPS. <laughs> okay, so Hutel, let's ascend you. What do you have to say? Silly Outside of that, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Oh yeah? <laughs> and then she doesn't say anything. <laughs> okay, so next level. Let's put in the XP. Oh. You know what? This is one of the times where I, I think I'm just gonna... Actually, what? It's only 300 XP? Never mind. I'm back to Stinge. And maybe in... Uh, a little bit later, we might do some artifact farming as well. I just remembered. I think this is one of the times where, yes, Shimanawa is a really good set on her, but I don't like having to deal with the fact that I don't have her uh, burst when I need it always, especially if she has energy recharge issues. So we'll just have to live with that and uh, try to get a better Crimson Witch set because technically it is her best set. Even if it is marginally, it is her best. Are you? Yes. yes. Nope. Never mind. I don't know what you were gonna say. We're gonna pause it right there. Thank you. This is the part in the video where Mr. Edit is like, "Kill me now. I don't want to cut this footage. You're making me cut this up." And now let's go keep leveling up our hotel. So nope, nope, no, no. Stop. 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 <laughs> the transition is so jarring, but she is getting crit damage. So you know what? I'll I'll hush up. I'll hush up. Sounds like we're gonna need a lot of crit rate on our artifacts because Homer is gonna give crit damage. Her ascension stat gives crit damage. It's one of those days, you know. Yar, yar. They're all pirates. They're all fucking pirates. I figured it out, guys. No voice line. That is a fat amount of crit damage though. Thank you. Nope, nope. We're stopping it now. Also, I love her dash animation. Like, I've always known that she's got these, um, butterflies. <laughs> yes, that's what they're called. Thank you, Vane. Thank you, Brain. Is there anyone here? Okay, perfect. Level 60. Let's keep it going. We've got a new stat. Like an eagle? Like an eagle? Can you cook off for me? Okay, I know they don't make that sound, but <laughs> I just want her to do the, the eagle cry. Okay. Stop, ma'am. Stop, stop, stop. I... You know what? That's it. Just, guys, just gouge out my ears. It's over. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'll just make whatever that many is. Beautiful. And then... Oh, however many this is. <laughs> okay, and I think I need, like, three... I don't know if it's six or four. I should really know by now. Uh, that's surely enough, though. Let's ascend again. Uh -huh. You would think that the tenth time it it would get old, but it, it it doesn't. It just gets better and better. I wait. Is that not enough? What am I? Oh my god. Okay, three whopper flowers. We can make that. Okay. 
I don't know if I should have made that many. Probably not. But here we go. Silly nope. I'm shutting it down. Stop. If I reach my full physical potential, uh -huh. then the next test is of the heart. Uh -huh. It's largely thanks to you that I've been able to step foot into this uncharted territory. We just fed her rocks and flowers. Are as one like clouds. Death is a constant for all mm -hmm. among the multitudes that sit beneath the heavens. Huh? I don't even know what she said. No, stop, please. Oh, okay. This this video is gonna test my patient patience. I swear. Um. Okay. So that's leveling done. She's now, ma'am. Okay. She's at fourteen thousand HP. Um. We're just gonna let her play. Eighty-eight percent crit damage. Um. We have actually quite a few weapon choices for her. We've got R five Dragon's Bane. We've got a Jade Spear here that's on my right in. We've got a Homer. I mean, I have two Jade Spears. I'm not gonna level it up. I also feel like it's a sin to refine it, so that's there. I guess you could put Lithic on her if um, you are struggling, but only at high refinement it's kind of good, and the attack is not great on her. Uh, you can put Blackcliff, but really, at that point, just put a White Tassel on her. Let's give her the Staff of Homer uh, that I got all the way back on the Elegy and Homer banner. That means she's now at 17.5k HP. This is without the resonance as well. Um, I'm thinking, should we do her towns first? And we'll finish off with the artifacts. The spiciest part, you know, we're going to leave to the end. But let's level up her talents in a quick montage. And it was diligence, okay. Oh, okay. I need some more of the purple thing. So let's get them all to six first. Thank God she doesn't say anything when I'm leveling these up. Otherwise, I would actually lose my mind. And of course, gambling, we have a 10% chance to double. Do we take Layla or Eula? Eula, you've been on the bench for a while. Come on, show us what you're worth. Give us more than three. Okay. Sheesh. Do it again, do it again. She's actually cracked out of her mind. What is happening? And in terms of the talent priority, I think... Auto attacks are super important because you're doing charged attack. This is giving you attack based on your HP, so pretty important. The last one is just one big burst, probably what I would max a last. Then again, I am not a Hu Tao god. I am not a Hu Tao expert. I'm sure someone in the comments will be like, no, you, you, you clown, you clown. Why? Why would you ever do that? And I would say... I am busy putting on my clown makeup. I can't hear you. <laughs> so I think, how does that look? Nine, eight, seven. Surely that's enough to, to not offend the Hu Tao mains, right? I'm sure some Hu Tao mains, <clears throat> Zuki, uh, in my community would be offended if I didn't level up her a little bit more so. <laughs> okay, so we've gone 988. I don't think I'm going to crown her at this point. If I really like her, we might do that. It's expensive. <laughs> let's have a look at the artifacts and then, you know what? No, let's go farm some more artifacts. I feel like my current artifact selection is not great. We're going to farm maybe, I don't know, oh, eight, shit. nine runs of condensed Gorky. resin. And then at the end, uh, I might do some re-rolling with the artifact box and we'll see what we've got. And then hopefully our Yelan will, so tell, will be absolutely cracked. I... I'm an idiot. I don't have any condensed resin. And what Pass. the hell is this? Okay. Whoops. <laughs> oh, something happened. Pass. I got garbage. Pass. That's what happened. <laughs> I think someone leveled up in terms of friendship. But uh, I also got garbage. Very nice. Okay. Pass. Uh, pyro damage? Dendro. Actually, Pass. wait. I need one of these. Okay. Wait. That's actually good. Unrelated to this video, but actually good. Pass. Yep. I mean, if it was of the other type, if it wasn't a, a Lava Walker set, could have been good. Flat HP she needs, crit rate she needs, EM she needs. Okay, P 
pyro damage on set goblet please i actually have uh, so many of these but they're all garbage i'll show you guys later uh, uh it's not great what about this what the hell is this okay you guys are both equally disgusting defense percent on the top what the hell okay garbage okay garbage oh wait em crit damage hp this would be good for a deluke maybe ideally you would have wanted another crit roll but what about this one hp on the top double crit on the bottom come on i'm i'm, I'm manifesting it right now this is disgusting <laughs> Okay, pyro damage goblet. There. Okay, circle it. Garbage. Flower. Oh, sorry, feather. <laughs> garbage. Okay, let's go to a crafting table, try to build her, use all the garbage left over to reroll, and hopefully we get some good stuff, okay? Alright, so let's take a look at what artifacts I potentially have for her. So. I was a little bit bummed out at the start because I had found a lava <laughs> walker piece, which is right here. Crit, crit, HP, HP. Literally, ideally what she wants, you could probably switch out the bottom HP for an EM. It's a four liner. And when I saw it come out, I was like, oh, fuck, let's go. And then it turns out, wait, this is a lava walker set. This is doggy doo doo. So instead, uh, let's have a look. I think... You know what, that's fine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven useful stats. I almost said useless. Here we want some HP and some crits. Wow, the, the flowers really do suck. This is actually a pretty good attack piece, but we want HP or EM. What if, okay, what if it rolled crit? What if I need to learn to stop talking? Okay, it actually went crit rate. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Three crit rolls. It could be five. We just gotta win two 50 50s. That's fine. We love gambling, don't we? Oh my Okay, if you get if you get one more crit roll, you know what? I can cope with you. I can I can deal with Oh my Wow, um I guess we'll go HP Sands, man. I don't know. Probably this piece. Okay, EM's good. EM's actually good because we're vaporizing. Look, if if you're not liking the video to pan out my suffering that I just went through. I, come on guys, come on. Okay, this is this is a disgusting piece. This is also a train wreck. Two crits, two HP, one EM. Wait, that actually could work for Hu Tao. Wait, that actually could work for Hu Tao? Give me a crit rate or an EM. Okay, you know what? It's like third prize. It's like third prize, but at this rate, I'm gonna take it. Okay, we're, we're going recycling guys. Make sure to recycle, it's good for the environment. We're doing a little bit of recycling, a bit of cleanup ourselves. This could be decent if it goes crit. Okay, we got two flowers, two circlets, three sands. These are the ones we're looking for. We'll check out the others. Oh, okay, potential. Potential, we're gonna save it. If it goes all into crit. Okay, a lot of, a lot of circlets. That's hopeful, a lot of flowers. Are you mocking me? You want me to go HP circlet? I mean, I can. It's got EM and two crit rolls, full liner. Uh, but why? Why? Why would you? Oh, okay. We'll keep that. Maybe what we'll do before we reroll. Let's see. If we take some of these artifacts up to four, we're gonna we're gonna YOLO it into this piece. It's gonna give us EM of percentage HP. Everything's gonna be great. Okay. Close your eyes. Let's go. YOLO. Shall we take, shall we try this one? It has HP, crit rate, and EM. If it gets a bunch of those three stats. Okay, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five useful stats. That's a little too low for me. Let's try something else, maybe. Let's just stick with this. It's a nice piece, but maybe for another day. Which has the most copium piece? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, look, if it goes into one more useful stat, we keep it, okay? EM. Okay, you know what? One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. It's not great. 
but you've seen how my artifacts have been going. This is horrendous. We have this, which actually doesn't have a fourth stat. It could have potential. Okay. It's not working anymore, guys. The hack isn't working anymore. Okay, man, I think we roll Shimanawas. I think this is one of the times where, yes, Shimanawa is a really good set on her. Oh my God, they're so much better. Like, like look at this. Oh. Okay, Hu Tao, you're, you're, you're becoming Shimanawas. I farmed so much for you. I really tried. Like, if anyone in the comments says, oh my God, I can't believe you bastardized your Hu Tao build by going Shimanawas. Like, you saw, I, I really... He tried. I think we go this. Sorry, Kaching. I have a killer circlet for crit rate. Dude, why did I why did I make myself suffer? I thought, you know, let me treat this hotel nicely. Maybe she can get something good. Okay, so we've got a few choices for the pyro. This one actually ended up not being bad, because one, two, three, four, five useful stats is actually decent for her. This one, okay, never mind. This is just the best. <laughs> There's a, a billion crit value on it. That's my hotel. <laughs> she now has Shimanawas, which is gonna mess up her energy, but who cares? 24k HP, 1.4k attack. God, she has that 1k defense, which is kind of disappointing to see, but that's fine. 350 EM, which is absolutely cracked. 73 crit rate, 233 crit damage, no ER. That might be a problem. We'll see how we go. Uh, weapon, Homa, Artifacts, 4 piece Shamanawa, you guys saw before. Talents, 988. And I think we've spent like 4 million more on her and a billion of my Artifacts and my Fragile Resin. Uh, and we ended up using Shamanawas anyway. So, you know what? Uh, never farm that set. It is, it is the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your life. We... Should probably go test her out now. I think, yes, uh, I have a team comp in mind. If you saw the Yelan video that I put up recently, I talk about it there, but I'm still farming friendship XP. So I guess we're sticking with this team. We can at least test out her vaporized damage though. So if you go into a Favonius, thank you. Let's see. What the fuck just happened? Where did he go? Uh... Okay. As long as I get to pull off my reaction... Uh, damage seems pretty big. Oh, this is awkward. Ow, okay. Okay. Break the shield. Oh, that's not your town. What did I just see? 60,000 damage vaporize. Did I see that right? And how often can I do that? Like every two frames? <laughs> I was thinking, so usually we go straight to fighting bosses, but I thought about it a little bit more. Why don't we test it on bounties? They have the same like big units that I gotta fight. And then it actually shows it off in like overworld gameplay. So, a walk would be nice. yes, this is my, my preferred comp. Uh, I have the Hydro Resonance for more HP as well. So invulnerable to Geo, who cares? Uh, it's not like Zhongli is doing the damage anyway. Uh, one thing we should do as well with this team comp, which currently actually is probably Hu Tao's best uh, and easiest to play. Uh, is make sure everyone's on Favonia's weapons because <laughs> she has 0% energy recharge as we saw before. Um, this artifact set, when you cast it, if you have more than 15 energy, then you lose it and you get the damage. If you don't have that, well, tough shit. <laughs> so <laughs> let's try to fix that with a Fav Lance, Fav Bow. No, let's also go Favonius as well. So that's the maximum possible energy for our hotel with this build. Solidify. Do we do one of these? Okay. You do one of these. Press E. Did that just do... Holy shit. We did like 70,000 per... 
auto charged attack together. We can do that every second. <laughs> okay. I might have messed up my cancel a little bit though. I, I do need to work on that. If you are considering pulling Hu Tao, this is potentially what you can expect. The artifacts are pretty good. Pyroset is probably better though. You've got an invulnerable to cryo. Damn, I'm quaking. I'm shivering in my boots. It takes longer to get there than to kill the boss. Now I just have to not break my kneecaps or drown. Also pretty... Oh my god. <sighs> that was a little close. Um, <laughs> let's not do that again. One of these. One of these. Where is it? Okay, yeah, it's a, it's about 70,000 damage. A light 70, no problem. Oh my god, okay. And it's generating a lot of energy because they're also dying right now. But I wonder what it would look like if we fought a boss. Because they wouldn't be spewing out energy particles like that. Also guys, uh, we'll be doing a little bit of different content coming up. Uh, a little bit less of these resin videos. And I have a lot of fun ideas um, that we can implement. And we've just been able to get another editor as well so hopefully that means more content for you guys to watch regularly uh and i'm super excited to make it okay one of these one of these this is perfect because we want to see who towns damage which i can't see because i'm dashing too much okay <laughs> whatever it was it's dead um wow i love this <laughs> I love being able to delete stuff. Um, one of my favorite characters to play is Raiden because uh, she absolutely shreds and this is giving me a Raiden vibe where you just kind of, you know, it's 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 like you just turn on all the orbitals, the uh, off field damage, and then you just start left clicking. Um, maybe a little harder to play than Raiden if you have C0, but that's fine, right guys? But you know what? Let's try on Geovishap. He's kind of the baseline for a tanky-ish boss that you would need to farm. Also, I forgot to call out my Hu Tao with the buff has 28,000 HP. And I think if I took her to 9, it should be close to like 29,000. Um, but honestly, uh, the EM and the crit is what's giving her most of her damage right now. Okay, and this time maybe we can actually Summon use the, the burst too. Ray that would be amazing. Okay. Okay, but these, we E. I can't do the rotation. Please help. This is hard. Never mind, he's dead. 100k? Okay, what the... Yo, cool character, guys. Cool character? Can you believe, believe this character has been out since, like, 1.2, 1.3? Oh, God. Um, I mean, like, why don't we just try on some newer bosses, too? We've got... Wee Nut. The Wee Nut. Surely they would have known. The Wee Nut. Yeah. Really? Okay, I've suddenly found an energy issue. When uh, when you do it like this, she's not getting any of the particles, and after you burst one time, it's over. <laughs> you, you don't get it back. Hmm, okay, we're going to have to figure a way around that. The only thing is, how long of a DPS window do I have fighting the Wee Nut? We'll find out. Okay, how cast can I kill you? Okay, I almost one-shot you immediately, but then you disappeared. We not? Okay, we just... Okay. If you can hit him, if you can hit him and hold him down for a split second, it's over. If they can move, then you have some problems. Oh, I forgot. We want to be under 50% HP too for uh, Hu Tao's passive. Yeah, below 50%. And when they're under 50%, pyro damage increased by 33%. Okay, so I think that's what we want now. We now have 80% pyro damage. And the Homer is going to give us more damage. Ready? Go! Okay, please don't move. Uh, what is happening? What is happening? turns into a liquid? This Dorito chip just turned into gas? It evaporated? It's fucking gone? Well, I think I like Hu Tao. Uh, I wish my artifacts were a little bit better so I didn't have to have crippling energy problems. But um, outside of that, it seems pretty good. Okay, just don't kill me though. 
I, I ask for one thing and one thing only. Do not kill me. Okay, that's awkward. Okay. Hopefully I'm doing the jump cancelling. Okay, that was just rude. Did I just see 78,000 damage? Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. If I can just get some energy for the homies. Okay, one, two... Please don't move. Please. Don't let her shield up. One more hit. No. No, I'm out of stamina. I... I killed her before she could transform. That's disgusting. This character is disgusting. Have you, have you ever tried just killing her? Have you considered you could just win? Alrighty, well, I guess that's it for this Hootsowl video. I mean, I think I've expressed how much I enjoy playing her already. It's kind of like the, the riding experience. As long as you get mechanically good at uh, <laughs> executing on jump cancelling or dash cancelling, if you have C1, you will just consistently pump out so much damage. Honestly, for free to play, she's also pretty easy to build. You should have Xing Chu by now. He's on the banner too. And he comes around in the shop. You would have had a free one if you were playing back then too. And Yellen's also here if you can afford her. Hu Tao has a bunch of great weapon choices as well. You can just spam this artifact domain. Use Emblem for Xing Chu, Yellen, everyone pretty much. And then Hu Tao can just use this like I did. And uh, it's a little cope, but it actually is still very, very strong. So as long as you can mentally tolerate her uh, abundant <laughs> enthusiasm and voice lines, then you should be good to go. I definitely do try out her, uh, what do you call it, her playstyle in the trial though. If you've never played her, it might be a little jarring. She looks fun to play, but she's actually a little jank uh, until you can get the rotation down uh, of jump cancelling. So you just want to jump just... Um, as the animation comes out that she's like spinning and the tighter you can get it the more damage you can get out as long as you don't cancel too early otherwise you get no jump and then you do zero damage um, but that's pretty much it on my thoughts on Hu Tao uh, an old character that I never got until now super happy I got her I have all the stuff for her so why not and just gives me all, more options to play in the abyss and in the overworld and have fun with so thank you all for watching bullies especially watching till the end it means a lot to me yeah, see? She's happy too. Uh, make sure to like, sub, and hit the bell if you haven't already. You'll find me streaming several times a week on Twitch. Stay up to date by joining our community Discord, and all my other socials are in the description. Love you all, take care, and I'll see you all in the next video.